Hey guys, this is a um, video tutorial on how to dual boot Windows Vista and OS X with two hard drives. What you're going to need is your computer, obviously, and the um, IACOS 5i Leopard 10.5.5 install DVD. Okay, so you're going to um, need to create a partition on your second hard drive, which I have already done for you. I'm going to manage disk management and this is the one I'm going to be installing OS X on this is Vista, this is the recovery so you're going, what you're going to do is you're going to shut down and while it's shutting down you're going to put the disk in and you're going to boot off the disk after it shuts down waiting for it to shut down ok now you're going to turn it back on after it shuts down just a minute ok turn it back on and your computer should start from the disk automatically if it's burnt right loading the disk ok it's going to say press any key to start up from CD-ROM you're just going to press any key and it's going to load the Darwin bootloader for Mac OS X and this is the Apple boot screen this takes a while so I'll come back when, I, when it's ready Okay, so after it's loaded, it's going to come to a screen like this. I'm just going to press next. It's going to prepare Leopard. See, this is my HP pavilion. Okay, it's going to come to this welcome screen, and you're going to go up to where it says Utilities, and you're going to press on Disk Utility. Okay, you're going to wait for it to load all your disks. Okay, so here is my first hard drive that's bigger. With I have Windows Vista and then the recovery. And this is my second hard drive with the Leopard partition. So you're gonna go click the partition and you go to up to the Erase tab and then go down and you're gonna s select the volume format as the first one, Mac OS Extended Journaled. And then you're gonna name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine Mac. and you're going to press erase erase and it's going to format it ok and then you can just exit out of disk utility you're going to press down here continue agree I'm going to select the target hard drive but here you're going to go over to customize and you're going to install all the patches and drivers that you need for your system. I'm going to go down to the Intel Pro because that's what I have. System, go to the NTFS and the SATA. And then for VGA I'm going to get pretty much all of them. Intel, NVIDIA and the graphics update. And then you're going to go up to x86 and you're going to get, you're going to go down to um, ACPI and you're going to get the x86 ACPI for your PS2 um, keyboard and mouse and then you're going to get and then you're going to go up to the bootloader and everything's actually everything's installed in the bootloader but you can go to kernel and I'm going to get the voodoo kernel and you're going to press done and then install it you can just skip this 
Um, the install takes about 20, 20 minutes at top, so don't worry about that. I'll, I'm going to cut it and come back when it's done. It's done installing, and you're gonna. When it's done installing, you're gonna get a screen like this, and uh, you're gonna just click restart. This takes a while, but uh, when it restarts, you're gonna take the disk out, and then you're gonna shut down and start again. Waiting for it to shut down. This might take a while, so I'll come back when it's done. The computer shut down, and now it's restarting. You're going to want to take the disk out. And then you're just going to shut down again. And then restart. And you're going to want to go, um, I'm not sure what it is on your, com your guys' computers, but... For me, it's the boot menu. Just somehow get to the boot menu, and you're gonna select your the hard drive that you installed um, the OSX on, and the MDR will take or the excuse me the MBR will take care of the rest. And here we go. Press any key to enter startup, and then just press enter. And it's loading the Darwin boot without the CD. Uh, first boot, this might take a while, so I'll come back when it's done. It's finished loading, and it's, it'll bring you to the welcome screen and start the setup music. Continue. Continue. And you guys know how to do the rest. You just set up and it will bring you to your desktop. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.